peaks and valleys throughout the year and, and, and there's different levels of you know hardness when it comes to this particular business. What was something that was hard for you? Well, I think the biggest enemy of this business is life. When life happens, it's easy to be distracted. And I can tell you all three of us have had life over the course of the nine, 10, eight years we've been a part of this company. We've had kids, we've moved, we've had you know, nursing, hormones, craziness, you know, it's just a part, life has happened to all of us. And I think the difference maker is staying focused despite the life. You know, I had to choose, even though I don't feel like it, to call back leads. I had to choose, even though, you know, I'm. You know, every time I was nursing, I would be working on my phone. I made decisions to work my business consistently since, and stay focused despite what was going on. So, anybody have life out there? Yeah? You're lying. Yes, you do. Does anybody have life out there going on? Yeah. Welcome to normal. Welcome to normal. The question is, do you want uh, that same life happening in three, five, ten years, or do you want... You know, are you going to stay focused and make some changes? So that's what I had to do. That, that, that's great. Cammie, what about you? Well, I was, like, if you would have asked me before her, I would have said motion, or motion creates emotion. And even though you don't feel like it, even though you're fighting with your spouse, um, you, your children are mad at you because you took that next call or whatever is happening, you're, you're, some of you, your utilities are getting turned off. You know, I know that there's a lot of life happening. And I think if you wait till you feel like it to do it, it's not gonna change. That's the definition of insanity. When you do it anyways, the emotion follows, you start having more fun, your confidence grows, your belief is there, and life doesn't suck so bad when other things are going well. And I love when Zig Ziglar says, I've, been, I've, I've had life happen with money, and I've had life happen without money. I'd rather have it happening with money. <laughs> I love that, and, and here's the thing, no matter where, what stage your life is in right now, life's gonna to continue to happen. I mean, I remember we we put down goals and Tiff and I would, you know, just we speak them every day, every day, every day. Then we pray for the stuff that was bad in our life to go away. And then we reach the goals and it's amazing. Those bad things would start to go away. But guess what? Some other bad things would replace those that we didn't think of at the moment. So guess what? Life's gonna keep happening. So why not put yourself in a position that you can have a solid, stable, successful business and help other people in the process. I love that. What about you, Steph? What's one of the hardest moments in your business? Um, I think what you have to know is, uh, for us, you know, failing is going to happen. Um, but is it going to going to keep you down? No, you want to keep failing forward, like Joel says. So. I think that's kind of hard. No matter what we do, we, we just have to get back up. No matter what life throws at us, you hear us saying that life's going to happen, but it's what you do with it. So if you tried, it didn't work, did you learn from something from that and to move forward from it? So that's constantly what I'm doing is I might try something that didn't work so good, but I'm not going to complain and, and sit there and be like, well, that didn't work. This isn't going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to learn from that and grow and teach other people, okay, well, let's try this. So. Um, I'd rather have a good life with money than not. Uh, I've been in both situations and I can tell you it's a lot better with having the, the abilities to do things with families and stuff like that. Isn't that great? Because I mean, you think about it, you know, money can do a lot of great things. You can get time freedom, you can help other people, you can build churches. I know each and every one of you are involved in some major charity work now. And, but those of you out there that are not yet Ruby and you're like, okay, I can't even imagine being a black diamond. The great part is you have to now. To get here, you gotta start imagining what that's gonna be like and focus on those steps of success. Stephanie? You know, and people don't pay your bills. So I got over that really quickly because I thought I had friends when I was broke and I didn't. So I really don't care what people think because they wanna be my friends now, but you gotta get over the you know, they don't pay your bills, you do. And what kind of life do you want? And it works and give you the most amazing life. Now, you wanna touch on this one? Yeah, I was just gonna make it really easy because I'm just gonna remove this question and turn it into a statement. It's like, okay, rebuilding? Well, guess what? We're always building, so there's no such thing. Yeah. Uh, being told no, well, that's just a part of life since you were a baby. Um, losing friends. Well, if they're not supporting you in anything that you're trying to do to make your family better, are they really your friends? Amen. 
Jeremy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to you on this next question. It's from uh, Inclib, NC Lib, Inclib, NC.